Second Chronicles chapter 25. Amaziah was 25 years old when he began to reign. He reigned 29 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jehoiada of Jerusalem. And he did that which was right in the, eye, in the sight of the Lord. Now that expression, right in the sight of the Lord, appears 18 times in the Bible. Evil in the sight of the Lord, 44 times. 18 rights and 44 evils. That's remarkable. And then people are going to lift up how great man is. But not with a perfect heart. How are we doing? Is our heart with the Lord? We're going to fail all of sin, even after you're saved. But even when you do give in to the flesh, which ought not be right, but even if, is your heart serving the Lord? Is it a perfect heart? Are you striving? And perfect doesn't mean you're 100%. means you have gone for it all. You have tried your best. And when you get to glory, you're not going to hear, I'm proud of you. You won't hear God say that. You will hear God say, if you had the perfect heart, well done. But Lord, I failed. I did well done. You know, success is not coming to the finish line. Success is when you had to falling down in the failures and getting back up, dusting yourself off and getting back on the right track. Our goals that we have in our life may never be our finish line. We may go home beforehand. We got to set that perfect heart again. It's not 100%. Is I'm going to reach out for God and do what God is going to fail. I'm going to fall. Get back up. Now it came to pass when the kingdom was established to him that he slew the servants that killed the king, his father. And that runs back to uh, chapter 24, verses 25 and 26. His father was killed upon his bed. And they're named in verse 27. And he goes and kills the men that killed his father. They're murderers. But he slew not the children, but did as it is written in the law in the book of Moses, where the Lord commanded, saying, The father shall not die for the children, neither shall the children die for the father, for every man shall die for his own sin. Now I have a Bible that has cross references. And it's remarkable as a statement that has come out of the Bible. Deuteronomy 29, verse 16, uh, 24, 16. Deuteronomy 24, 16 is where that quote comes from. And that's not a letter, and that's not given my center column. You would think that quote the scripture would get you such a good name as the Bible I have. I'm not going to give the name. You would think that that would be letter uh, A, B, or C, or D. And then show you in Deuteronomy where to go. But that's a direct, direct quote from the law. He has obeyed the law. These men killed my father. I didn't kill their sons. I killed the men who were responsible. Moreover, Amaziah gathered Judah together. This is what his reign. And made them captains over thousands. Captains over hundreds. According to the houses of their fathers throughout all Judah and Benjamin. Judah and Tyre. And he numbered them from 20 years old and above. And found they 300,000 choice men. Able to go forth to war. That could handle spear and shield. Going to battle. They're capable of fighting. He hired. Hired. Means you get for a payment. Also, 100,000 mighty men of valor out of Israel. That's north. That's been trouble with the kingly line since Jehoshaphat. Keeps running back to Jehoshaphat. 
He, I mean, keeps running to Israel, keep going back to Israel, marrying into Israel. Israel is a vile, wicked nation before God. Not one king got right. You know, he did not kill the sons for what the fathers. You don't kill the fathers with the children. But the sins of the father passes on. And we've been to three or four generations already. The sins of Je uh, Jehoshaphat is still showing up. And we've got to learn as parents and parents to be. What we do wrong is going to affect our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, and our great-great-children that we may never meet. So keep on sinning. Keep on saying you're not hurting nobody. And then you find out you stand before God, saved or lost. You are in charge of your great-great-great-grandchildren. Oh, 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 yes. Are we not all suffering because of Adam and Eve? Do we not have that curse of sin upon us? And how many years has it been since Adam and Eve? Sin affects all. But there came a man of God to him, saying, O king, let not the army of Israel go with thee. God is against Israel. For the Lord is not with Israel, to wit, with all the children of Ephraim. Now Ephraim is mentioned as Israel incorporation. The Bible says about Ephraim, let him alone, he's joined himself to idols. I forget offhand if it's the it's the Jehovah Witnesses or uh, I think it's the Mormons that say they're of Ephraim. Well, if you're one of those things and you're of Ephraim, you come to my door, the Bible says, I'm not to have anything to do with Ephraim. Bye. You joined the idols. I believe it's Mormons. I can be wrong. But if thou will go, do it. Be strong for the battle. God shall make thee fall before thy enemy, for God has power to help and to cast down. Those people you hired of Israel, you continue to keep them on your, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to drop you. If you get rid of them and go under Judah and Benjamin, I'll take care of you. And Amaziah said to the man of God, but what shall we do for the hundred talents which I have given to the army of Israel? That's back in verse 6. I gave him the money. What do I do? And the man of God answered, The Lord is able to give thee much more than this. Write it off. Just let him go. Don't worry about the money. I'll take care of you, God said. Just don't have fellowship with him. Then Amaziah separated them. Look at division, separation. He obeys God. To wit, to know, information, the army that was come to him out of Ephraim. So the ones that he hired, he said to go home again. All right, you men that I hired, you're of Israel. Goodbye. See you. Don't want you. Don't need you. Keep the money. God said, no, I, I can't. What? Ephraim is that one of them half tribes. E e Ephraim on the map is right in the middle. Here, they're, they're collective. Ephraim's has gone sour with Israel. Then we've had a couple kings before where Ephraim came down. I think it was Jehoshaphat. But Ephraim themselves has just gone off, off to the ways. To go home again, wherefore their anger was greatly kindled, Ephraim, Israel, against Judah. And they returned home in great anger. So he made them angry. He upset them. And Amaziah strengthened himself and let forth his people and went to the Valley of Saul. That's mentioned quite often. And smote the children of Seir 10,000. He would have lost if he had taken the children of Ephraim or Israel. So he wins because God says, I don't want him. And he says, you guys go. Goodbye. And other 10,000 left alive. Did the children of Judah carry away captive and brought them unto the top of the rock and cast them down from the top of the rock 
And they were all broken in pieces. That must have hurt. They're taking the enemy, they bring him to this rock, and they just throw him down, breaking bones, breaking their backs. That's horrible. But that's war. They're not going to build themselves up. If they survive it, they're, they're going to be crippled, and they're just going to die there. They're not going to build themselves up. In verse 13, the last verse we'll look for tonight, because we're going to leave 14. That's an interesting thing. 13, but the soldiers of the army which Azariah sent back, verse six, verse 10, the ones that got angry, get out of here, we don't want you, that they should not go with him to battle, fell upon the cities of Judah from Samaria even unto Beth Horon, and smote 3,000 of them and took much spoil. Now they really angry God. Judah said, get out of here. We don't want you. Keep the money. And in their anger and their retaliation, they went into Judah and slain and destroyed cities. Nice group of people. But that's the sin that we're seeing of Israel. That's the sin we're starting. To, God's pointing out to us with Ephraim because Ephraim later on, I forget which prophet speaks about them. They're just, they're just going wrong. They're, they're going evil. They're going bad. They're going wicked. And here it starts. It's terrible. 